My name is Captain Christopher Earl. I'm the commanding officer of the Fleet Maintenance Facility Cape Breton here in Esquimalt, British Columbia. I'm Sylvia Pankova. I'm a mechanical engineering student at the University of Victoria. My name is Tom Percy. I'm the industrial engineering manager in Fleet Maintenance F Facility Cape Breton. FMF Cape Breton is part of uh, a larger organization here in Esquimalt to support the West Coast Fleet. We hire about 80 to 100 students a year. Co-op students are employed on an as-required basis to support the needs of the fleet at the time they actually are here. So in the Navy, we, we have a, an expression called a force multiplier. If you have a, a warship and you add a, a helicopter to it, it significantly increases the, uh, the capabilities. So co-op students for us are force multipliers. Um, the co-op students do a number of different industrial design projects. Um, usually it's to help shops project their, their ability so that they can do the work on board a, a ship or a submarine. Uh, one of the projects that Sylvia was working on was to design a portable hydraulic oil flushing rig for submarines. To bring in a co-op student, you get youth and energy at a very low cost. I think also with students uh, coming out of academia are very current and are knowledgeable of all the most recent software. This is uh, advantageous for employers who will, may sometimes still be developing with the software. I would tell other employers hiring co-op students that it's, a, it's really a win-win arrangement. The, you, get to, uh, you get a very skilled person that can help you with your projects and at the same time you're assessing their, their suitability for possible future employment.